Welcome back to my planet. I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, but you're not in your car. We're supposed to have a hot girl summer update and you're supposed to be in your car. Well, besties, guess what? Remember the last video where I was like, I don't feel good. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that turned into a real one. And I was like, I don't feel good. And, but don't worry, it's not COVID. Well, turns out it was COVID. So who's laughing now? Not me. I've been coughing nonstop all day. Woo! Okay. Yeah, so it was COVID. I went and got tested on, look at that kid. Is that a kid or a full-grown adult running? That's a little, that's a little, where are his parents? I mean, he's not like a little kid. He must be around like eight, nine. You think my parents would have let me run around the block like that alone, unsupervised as a kid? Where are his parents? He's just running. What what workout do you need to be doing, child? Why is this little kid running down the street in like 90 degree weather right now trying to get a workout in? My mind is baffled right now. I, I can't do this video today because I'm just baffled by this kid running down. Whatever. Not my kid, not my... <laughs> Not my kid, not my problem. One time, oh my gosh. Okay, so down here, um, or down the block, okay, there was this car, and I see like this kid at the at the steering wheel. I have COVID. <laughs> That's my. I'm not making. Anyways, let me finish that story, and then I'll get back to my COVID case. So, anyways, I saw this kid sitting on at the driver's seat, right? And so, like, I parked my car, and being the good Samaritan, I get out, and I'm like looking, and then his dad like pops up out of the back seat, and it's like, yeah, hi, hello, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I was just making sure. I just saw a kid in the front seat, and I was like, I don't know if he's here by himself, and it's kind of hot out here, so I was just making sure he's okay. And he's like, okay, thank you, but um. And then I realized he was probably thought I was about to kidnap him. So moral of the story, do not leave your kids alone in the front seat of your car. You don't know what kind of weirdo psychos are out there. So just letting you know that. Anyways, um, what was I talking about? COVID. So yes, I went and got tested on Tuesday yesterday. No, I got tested on Monday. Got my result yesterday. So I mean, I had to get tested anyways because someone in the office had it. And so they were like, you have to go and get tested. And I was like, okay. Did it. Anyways, yeah, so that happened. Anyways, it's... <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Another hot girl summer update. So back to the important things. How is it going for you guys? How is the challenge going? How is it holding up? I know right now is the time where we're really starting to feel the transition into the cooler seasons. Cooler seasons mean the fun holidays coming up and we're starting to get in that mindset or right, already we're seeing decorations in all these stores. Oh my gosh, I think these are that kid's family or parents or whatever. Uh, hello, your little brother or whatever, like zoomed up there and you all are just like pacing and leisurely walking. Do you want to go and chase him? Can you hear me? Oh my God. Oops. Oh no, my, my thing's closed. Hopefully they didn't hear me. But these kids are like 12, 13. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Anyways, how's it going for you guys? Um video's a mess but that, that's how it is how is it going for you guys right now we're really starting to see you know halloween decorations are out reminders that hey we're going to be seeing family members soon and family members that we really want to stick it to so if there's any reason to really tone it tone it in tone it in rein it in and really get on track and start doing what you need to do Let's do it to be petty, if anything else. Like, we're going to be seeing family members soon. We're going to be seeing your husband, your wife's, your whoever's, um, sister's, brother-in-law who keeps saying, mm, should, be, should you be eating that? You're on a diet. Who keeps commenting on you and you really want to stick it to that person. And we're going to show, show off 
I don't know, weight loss by that time. I don't know. But <clears throat> yeah, holidays are coming up and we really want to be in a better place health wise as well. We want to be able to like keep up with the kids. Maybe you have nieces, nephews or grandkids or great grandkids or whoever and you want to be able to run after them. It might be the first time you're seeing them in so long and we want to be able to keep up. We want to be able to go on a walk with them, you know, maybe before dinner or go trick-or-treating with them maybe they're like hey grandma do you want to take me trick-or-treating i don't know is that cool going trick i would love going trick-or-treating with my grandma but, but um i don't know why do i keep looking outside as if someone's coming as if michael myers is coming to you know but <laughs> all right but you know we want to be able to do these things with our loved ones and we want to get into better shape and maybe you're going to horror nights or some sort of Halloween event and that requires a lot of a lot of exercise it, requ it requires a lot of walking around maybe I don't know but be this is this might be the time of the year where you're getting some extra days off or it might be vacation time or something along those lines and so we really need to evaluate where we want to be health wise where do you want to be health wise during this these last couple of months of the year let's think about last year how was it last year was it comfortable for you it might have been it might have been and you might be like oh i'm so far away than i was this time last year but that's okay doesn't mean you can't still get there or get close to where you were or you could be like you know what i am so much better than i was this time last year and i want to continue that keep on continuing it it should be your reason to keep going for me um i of course to me right now counting points and exercising i haven't been exercising for obvious reasons i have not been counting points for obvious reasons i've been eating like eating well and i haven't been like measuring things or whatever so i'm not going to wait no i'm not going to weigh in saturday that's <clears throat> completely irresponsible I'm, i i wouldn't do that i'm not going to weigh in i'm not going anywhere so at least until next week i'm not going anywhere i'm just staying isolated so hmm so yeah it's because right now to me it's more important to get my health under in check and get back to being a hundred percent and i know that's really hard for <clears throat> a lot of people when you're put in this type of situation where you're prioritizing your and i know we're on a weight sorry i just kicked my stand you were we're on a weight loss journey and we're like yeah you know we're doing this for our health we're doing this for our health but then you get into a position where you can't exercise and you <clears throat> it's not that you can't but you probably shouldn't be measuring or counting out portions or counting out points and stuff and so what do you do in that case and that's where i believe mindset really comes in and you have to really think about it and say all right well what's important right now right now yeah i'm probably gonna the next time i go to weigh in i might be up on the scale i had covid i think that's a good not an excuse but i think that's a good reason and am i using this as a way as covid as an excuse to overindulge no i'm not saying oh i have covid that means i can eat whatever i want no it means yeah i'm eating a little bit more i'm not measuring but i'm it's not like i'm saying okay i'm eating a muffin now and i'm eating five slices of pizza and i'm eating this and i'm eating that no i'm still eating regular stuff that i would always eat but it's just but i'm trying not to go overboard and so i don't know that's just how i handle it i again in this situation i don't think that there is a right or wrong actually there is a wrong if you're pushing your body to do things that it really shouldn't during times of sickness then that's obviously wrong like you need to rest you need to rest and i know we're not really programmed to be like rest is okay rest is fine even me i'm just like sitting here doing nothing and i'm like i need to be doing something okay i'm not at work but i need to like maybe i could like clean my room or maybe i could do this or maybe i could do that or maybe i could do this to be productive and it's and i'm just like no 
You just need to rest. I know, such a foreign concept, but it's totally okay to rest. It's totally okay to do what your body needs. Now, soon, hopefully, hopefully, I'll be fine, and then I'll just go back to my ways of my Weight Watcher ways, and that'll be good. That'll be fine. So, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that it's fine to take a break now and then, and <clears throat> if you're sick or if you're put in an unusual circumstance and you have to prior prioritize your health, which is why we're losing weight in the first place, and which is why we're doing Weight Watchers, which is why we're working on ourselves in a healthier, in a healthy, I don't really like using that word, but in a healthy and positive way. So anyways, I don't know if this made sense because I don't even know what I'm talking about. But the important thing is, how are you guys? What are you guys doing? How is the challenge going for you guys? We're in one more week. I kind of want to throw another numbers challenge at you guys. Um, can I do that? So... All right, this week, from now, from now, from today, today's Wednesday, but it doesn't have to be Wednesday whenever you watch this, within a week, so until next Wednesday, um, my challenge for you guys is to be down blank pounds. I know, I know, we don't like, we, I don't like doing that, but maybe it's just the push you need. I did this last week as well, but I'm doing it this week as well. My goal is to be down how many pounds? It could be a gain as well, or it could just be maintenance. But if you are in that place where you're like, you know what, I really need to lose, I urge you to really push yourself this week and maybe set things in motion for getting these pounds off because we can't just keep coasting by throughout these next couple of months. We, I mean, you can. You can't just coast by. There's nothing wrong with that. But if your goal is to lose weight, it's not just let me maintain, let me maintain, let me maintain. But I need to lose weight. When will you start losing the weight, though? January 1st? No, we're not assigning days like that. Like now, if your goal is that you need to lose weight, let's start now. Let's start this week. No better time than now. Let's let's do it. So this next week, I want to be down how, how much? Is a pound doable? Let's start with a pound. I want to be down a pound. Sounds good, right? I can do it. You can do it. I mean, that's not my goal. My goal is just get rid of this COVID. That's my goal. But, and so I, I don't have a numbers goal, but you guys, I encourage you if you don't have COVID or even if you're doing your ring at home, I don't weigh at home. Um, let's set a numbers goal to be down a pound. I think that's very doable for most people. The, only, the pressure is actually doing it, doing the stuff that you need to do to do it. What do you need to do? Do you need to have a better mindset? Do you need to work on your sleep, your activity, your food? What is it you need to work on? Don't pick all of them. Don't pick everything. Pick one thing that is doable for you this week. What is doable? For me, it's always tracking. I have to get to tra the, ignore everything else. Just focus on tracking. So is tracking the issue here? Let's focus on tracking. But you guys know, I'm preaching in the choir. You guys know what you need to do in order to lose, a, to lose a pound. Let's do that. Write it down somewhere. I urge you, pause this video right now. Go get a journal. Go get something. That, that's a great idea. Go get a journal and write down minus one pound by and then set a date within the week. All right? Did it? Did it? Great. And now we're going to document every day. Well, not every day, but... You wrote it down, so now it's in your head, and now you have this down that I need to get this pound down within the week. So it could you could have written more if you want, or if you're like, a pound's too much, less, that's whatever number. It has to be a number. And just this week, it's not like I'm saying we're going to lose a pound every single week from now until the end of the year. No, I'm just saying just this week, we're focused on a number goal. You know what you need to do to get it. You've done it before. So let's do it now and make an action plan of how you're going to get it done this week. I'm going to come back on maybe it's Saturday, but definitely, yes, no, definitely Saturday and next Wednesday. 
and I want an update on how it went. All right, you guys have to, and this is the accountability part. You guys have to, if you're, if you wrote it down and you made a little numbers challenge, I need you to come back here <clears throat> next week. So be sure to subscribe. So, you know, and like this video and comment while you're here anyways, but, um, come back and let me know what you did, how you did. I want all the dirty details here and there will be no shaming here. So don't worry about that. Anyways, I'm getting really tired talking. <laughs> this is the most I've talked in all week. So I'll, so I'll see you guys next. I'll see you Saturday, but definitely next Wednesday as well, where you will tell me how you did on the scale. Yes. Good. Good work team. All right. I'll see you next time. Be sure to like subscribe and leave all the notes in the comments below. Bye.